Alrighty, I have an emergency construction update for you guys today, and no, it has nothing really to do with the drone footage, but I'm going to show you guys the drone footage filmed this morning um, as well. So as you can see, lots of work. I, I uploaded this morning my flight yesterday, and from yesterday to today, they've been able to completely reshape the area as if they haven't been working here. So that's really impressive. Just wanted to show you guys that. Um, but I have some breaking news about some ground control points and datum points at Canada's Wonderland. So for any engineers in here or architects, uh, that those words should excite you. I'm going to show you some new things that prove that our next coaster is going to be a launched coaster going into the mountain. But also more so that Wonderland might be overhauling uh, the entire mountain area. So we'll get into that. As you just saw, Hartwell Electrical drove into the mountain. Okay, telltale sign that there's work going on in there as well. Um, and you're going to see a lot of work in today's. This All the footage you're seeing today is today. Um, they're clearing out the mountain. It's a continuous project. These things get hauled out at night and then come back empty. And they are filling them up with mountain stuff that needs to get shipped out. I want to know where this is going. I'm going to, like, I want to follow one of these dumpsters because I want to go dumpster diving and take whatever the, is in those bins because I have a feeling there's some good things in there. So, um, that's something I want to see because I would love to find an accidental throw out. Um, that is of importance or maybe, you know, it's just all dust and junk. There's a chance for that too. I know some of the, the old blackout maze is getting thrown out in the garbage, so it could be that too. Um, but nonetheless, let's get into construction because I think I have the front gate reno figured out and it's pretty intense, um, in terms of what I've been seeing. So when we look at the front gate reno, um, video in person, I want to explain something. So you're going to see what looks like could be Q line being built, um, for what I'm assuming is going to be self-serve kiosks. Like you see at the Bush gardens park. So for those of you that know what I'm talking about, there's these kiosks that you walk up to where you can redeem, you know, your season pass add-ons. So for example, if you have a bring a friend ticket and all that, you can redeem it from there without going up to guest services. These machines can print out your daily tickets um, and you can even take your season pass picture on these machines. I think that this would be perfect for Cedar Fair to invest in a park like Canada's Wonderland where um, the labor cost is extremely high. Again, I'm not taking a side on labor. I'm just speaking as if on the business side of things, um, that's how they view it. So right there, right now on the screen right there is the queue line area that you see leading up to a giant concrete pad. So picture a giant wooden structure with a bunch of kiosks under it and this queue line that leads up to it. That's what I'm guessing that is. You then have these concrete pads that lead into this giant front gate area. Um, and I'm assuming that's going to be your security tolls. So you're going to have your season pass entrance right off there to the left where your season pass holders can come in and your daily ticket um, holders where you can go and pick up your daily tickets there. Um, again, this is an assumption with no basis to it. The Wonderland has not told me any information about this. Wonderland has just confirmed to me personally that this is a re uh, front gate upgrade for the 2024 season. That is all that has been confirmed to me. Um, but outside of that, that's what I assume. Um, a lot of the UCC group trucks were there today. So again, this is a telltale sign to me that this is going to be a, 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 a thing that's a lot more than just throwing down some concrete and uh, trying to help speed of service. They are going to try and make it beautiful um, and put some effort into that. And then what has me kind of curious is with all the work moving into this area with some of the kiosks possibly moving into there, does that mean a lot of the front gate is going to be transformed into um, uh, entrance points to help with flow? I assume so. So we'll have to see what that looks like. Thunder Run. So here we have some ground control, control points and datum points. You have six of them in Thunder Run and one on the hot chocolate building across from Thunder Run's exit. These are really important information and any... Um, engineer or architect that is watching this video can vouch that what I'm saying to you guys right now is true. So I spoke to some engineers about these exact things that you see. They are also on Vortex's lift hill drop, and there's one on um, Guardian support column. So these are important because they are reference points being added into a CAD drawing. 
Um, so essentially, engineers are whipping up some designs, and these are of importance to the area. So if we pay attention to these, they are starting where the rumored launch 2025 coaster starts, um, and they're going all the way over to Thunder Run, which is also a rumored attraction to be receiving some upgrades to its theming. And for those of you that may not remember, Wonderland posted an original drawing to the station earlier this summer season, and I have a feeling that might be part of Thunder Run's plans, thus why you're seeing Thunder Run being marked up now. I'm also noticing some of the support columns for Guardian Wonder Mountain's Guardian are marked up with some survey markings and some orange tape, similar to what we saw on Vortex when they removed support columns to work on Yukon Striker. So it would make sense to see some of the uh, support columns removed from Wonder Mountain's Guardian to get some uh, work trucks in there and some work done to the area to dig out a corner or section of the mountain. Now, um, that is also an assumption. So again, everything I am talking about in this video right now um, is assumption based. So I just want to make that really clear. So I'm not instilling any false information into your head as if it's real information. Um, moving on over to front gate. This is the extended front gate store that you're seeing on the screen. Um, and that is it for the construction update today. I think that's really packed. Um, I did want to point out that I was incorrect that they weren't removing, um, that show light up there. It is still up there. Um, nonetheless, um, do your research on ground control points and datum points, and you'll understand that what you're seeing take place at the mound is important work. Um, so pay attention to this area, everyone. Thanks so much for watching today's construction update, guys. Have an amazing Christmas weekend. Bye.